Hi, I'm Wes from JNW Sports and Apparel. People are coming from everywhere. It's crazy today. Y'all need to come out here. Well, guess what? People uh, asked me the last time I had Zamir White and Kerry Jackson, we didn't get through story time with a lot of them. It was so packed in here. So we're going to do story time, folks. You guys love it. And they're going to tell stories that happened at Georgia when they were there. And we're going to let it go, folks. So if you've got a uh, an ear that don't like uh, language, hey, we're going to let them be themselves. <laughs> So enjoy this story time with Ben Harden. All right, cool. So um, I guess my story is um, it was my freshman year, summertime, and I wish he was here, but uh, Big Max, he was playing for Philadelphia. Uh, Charles Johnson was playing for the Panthers, and they came back to work out, uh, you know, work out with us, you know, talk to us about the league, you know, tell us about, you know, the Georgia tradition. And uh, I knew Charles because I'm from Perry High School and Charles from Hawkinsville. So that's a big rivalry in the middle of Georgia. And so, you know, uh, if coming up, if you're coming up to Georgia, you know about Big Max, Charles Johnson, especially in the weight room. Uh, there was probably, you know, a couple, one of, I want to say few, but we had a, they were one of the 500-pound presses. So you saw their names everywhere, you know, strongest, a couple of strongest guys that would come through Georgia. So we were uh, doing pass rush, you know, working on our technique in the summertime. No pass. So we was like, you know, hey, y'all showing us. Let's see two NFL guys go at it. So, um, you know, me playing offensive line, Big Max was like the guy we looked up to. We was like, man, that's that's Max G. Guys, like big guy. You know, he talked a lot of noise. So we was like, okay, that's who we kind of model. Want to model our game behind. And it was him and Charles when they were going at it. And that was my first time ever seeing Big Max like get put in the air and then get. I was like, he ain't gonna like that. He ain't gonna like that. Hey, no. hey, he's in the group. He's probably gonna be watching this. So, get so ready. when I saw that, I was like, instead of out here, I need to go probably live some more. Because <laughs> watching those two, like I said, they was, those were guys we looked up to because. They used to come back every summer, talk to us about, you know, the Georgia way, the things to do. But, you know, see, seeing that happen in real life, I Crazy. was like, yeah, probably lift some more weights. Because if that's happened to him, <laughs> then don't tell him what can happen to me. So. I'll get a dog back <laughs> next time he's up here. That's my story. All right. Candler Cook. Dang, Tyson, you're not ready yet? Mm -mm. <laughs> so my story is from the uh, 2011 kickoff game. It was the first time Georgia had been in the kickoff, and uh, Ricky and Jeff were there as well. We we're getting ready to play Boise State, and, and Boise was ranked a little higher than us. And um, Coach Rick decided to dress out 85 guys, but he actually brought the whole team. And so he had the rest of the guys, about 40 of them, um, that were wearing their jerseys. They were standing like just behind some of the players, like, and uh, they had sweatpants on. And there was uh, one of our – our teammates, who was a freshman, he was a walk-on at the time. He was a small guy. He was, he was probably uh, six foot, 190 or something. And so he's just wearing a jersey and sweatpants. And this elderly lady walks up to him and she says, you know, you are so brave. It's great for Coach Rick to do this and have you guys out here. Because she thought he was a make-a-wish kid. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so, and so this, this teammate of mine looks at her and he says, no, I'm really on the team. These are my teammates. And she looks back at me and she says, yes, you are. What a great attitude. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that was good, that was good. All right. uh, it's not nearly as fun. <laughs> um, so backstory: uh, I was in the military before, uh, right before I came to Georgia. So uh, we had a. I was playing defensive line my first year, and the defensive line coach there, I guess he's just finding, trying to find a way to relate to me. Um, so every time I would do something, he would try to make it about the military. Uh, and we were doing ball possession drills one time, and everybody, everybody's going up to it and wrapping their body around it, and he's like, "Good job." Uh, I had never done this particular drill before, um, and I, th I felt like I was going to do fine, but Coach Garner, he, he's, he's, he didn't need to hurry. And he, he's like, let me tell you something, Rap. If that's a grenade, is that how you're going to jump on it? And I was like, <laughs> it's like, Coach, I appreciate you trying to relate this to me, but if that's a grenade, I'm going to run the other way. <laughs> That's not what we do. Again, not, yeah. That's, no, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. All right. Well, I got a Coach T story. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. All right. Rainy. Shout, shout out to Coach T. <laughs> Best coach I've ever had. Shout but, out to Yeah. So, 2012, uh, my senior year, 
it was just a Thursday practice, I think, and we were, I, I, I felt a few of us were really sore. People were complaining about being really sore. And I thought, you know, as a senior, I'm going to go talk to Coach T about this, you know, and say, hey, Coach T, you know, we're all really sore. Do you mind if we stretch before we start doing our sprints? And he said, stretch? We're not going to stretch. you got to be tight. So when you face the enemy, you're going to explode. <laughs> and that was it. And so we did not stretch that day. That was our strength we, and conditioning. I don't think we ever stretched. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not healthy, apparently. Yeah. Got to stay tight. Yeah. 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 Take it yeah. 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 Cut the heat out. Come on now, Mr. Tyson. Oh, y'all going to make me good, huh? Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I mean, there's so much crazy yes, stuff happening. Let me just think of one of them. Uh, a Coach T story. There you go. Yeah. Everybody has a Coach T story. So. <laughs> um, I did. I actually kind of just told this story here before, but uh, I was playing my sophomore year, coming off a three-game suspension, so I really wasn't expecting to play that much at all. But Coach T came up to me before the game. He just slapped my bow. He was like, you better get ready. And I was like, <laughs> First, I was like, Coach, chill out. Like, I don't think I'm going to play that much today. He was like, no, get ready. You're going to have a big play today. And I was like, all right, Coach, you know. So the game was just going and going. And he just kept coming by me like every three minutes, like, get ready. Like, get ready, get ready. And, but no story. We get down to like a minute and 45 seconds left in the LSU game and we get the ball back. We're down 10 or whatever it was, seven at the time. And he's like, are you ready? I told you it was going to happen. It's now. It's now. He just started going crazy. And sure enough, we went out on the field. David came to the huddle and called a screen play and the rest was history. But if you watch, you can see Coach T chasing me <laughs> down the sideline in the video. I thought, my goodness, Coach. Like, but yeah, Coach T, great dude, though. And I'm glad he had that vision because I did. <laughs> Y'all got any more stories? Y'all keep them going. So people love this stuff. They love it. This is my favorite part. Of this the is whole her thing. favorite. She's been asking for it for a long time. I can come with you to break in between. Okay. Okay. All right, right, guys. They're going to take a break between uh, thinking about some more stories. So come on out and get your autographs. They're here until 4 o'clock or maybe past if y'all keep coming. So that's what we want. Come on out here. Go, dogs. And hopefully we'll be here uh, just a few minutes here. Let them rest. And uh, we'll hopefully have some more story time. Thank you, guys. And go, dogs.